tourism related developments that bring neglected or underused heritage assets back into appropriate economic use will be strongly supported. Northumberland County Council, the Northumberland Local Plan. After nearly five years restoring the flooded, derelict cellar of Osborne House, the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi finally opened on October the 20th, 2018, with over 250 people flocking to see John Levine open the museum. When you see someone put their heart and soul into something, when you see talent like this, how could you not come up? But I did not expect the quality and the quantity and the pure beauty of it. When you put it all together, it's like a little bit of magic, isn't it? The future was looking bright for this new burgeoning enterprise in the North Pennines. Following an international television appearance on Netflix and then more appearances for the BBC and ITV and many, many appearances in newspapers and magazines, the museum was set for success. Little did I know that huddled away, a small group were plotting against us. The museum had come to the attention of a force far more inscrutable than any Martian or Dalek. The battle for the Alan Dalek was about to begin. Support the Alan Dalek! The battle for the Alan Dalek began before the museum was even open. It started at a parish council meeting October the 4th, 2018. Despite the support of the majority of the parish council, one member raised questions over planning permission regarding the shed and also the TARDIS car that was parked in front of our property. As a consequence of this being raised formally within the meeting, the issue had to be passed along to the Northumberland County Council Planning Department. It's important to state at this point that we had received planning permission to open the museum. And also, we had absolutely no idea that planning permission was required for a shed. At this early stage, if someone had just approached us in the village and explained that there was potentially a problem, we would have done everything we could to rectify it, including not building a shed in the first place. Perhaps we would have just put the Dalek on a trailer, similar to the one that had sat in front of the house without any complaint for many years. So for two months we were blissfully unaware that there was any problems with the Dalek. People were turning up at the museum, taking photos and selfies with the Dalek, posting them online. The Dalek was beginning to go worldwide. A family-run science fiction museum in Northumberland has been threatened with closure because a Dalek display outside doesn't comply with planning rules. The full-size Doctor Who robot, which was built by the owner of the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi in Allendale and his students, is housed in a wooden shed. Neil Cole has been told by the council that permission for the shed probably wouldn't be granted as it's out of character with their listed home. January the 21st, 2019. The museum is attracting visitors. Word is spreading and then our world stops. We receive a letter from the enforcement team from Northumberland County Council. This is our first notification from anyone that there is a problem. Just as people are beginning to travel to see the Dalek, we get told we have 14 days to remove it and the shed that protects it. What was also significant within this letter was the statement that even if we did put in full planning permission, it would not be granted. We soon realised that this was a prejudicial statement. This was subsequently reinforced just a few days later in another email from the same department. What's more, there has been an anonymous complaint from one individual about the TARDIS car, which is apparently blocking the pavement and preventing wheelchair access down the path. At this point, we began to feel we were being singled out, because if you look closely at the photographs, you'll see the amount of path that was actually being blocked. Approximately one metre, with the path terminating at the listed stone steps of Osborne House. On January 24th, three highway enforcement officers arrived at the house. There they remained watching the house 
for most of the morning until finally my wife, who'd been working as she's a psychotherapist with clients all morning, finally answered the door. They were knocking every 15 minutes. When my wife was finally able to answer the door, a representative from the council spoke to her in an aggressive manner, which was witnessed, thankfully, by a staff member from BBC Radio Newcastle. The council workers then fled the scene quickly in their car. This was the final straw, the combination of the letter followed swiftly by the enforcement officers at the door. Despite an apology from the highways team stating that we hadn't actually caused an offence in the first place, my wife and I felt bullied and harassed in our own home. Our mistake was that we hadn't realised we needed planning permission for a shed in front of a listed building. But we hadn't murdered anyone. We weren't deliberately trying to deceive anybody, and yet we felt we were being treated very, very poorly. With the clock ticking, we needed some advice quickly, so we decided to post the letter from Northumberland County Council Enforcement online. Hopefully, somebody might come up with some ideas. I am the doctor, I travel through space and time. And yes, the Daleks have been my bitterest enemy for millennia. But yet now, one of their kind is threatened by those known only as Northumberland County Council. Apparently their offices use Cybermen's ears as door handles. Perhaps they are working with the Daleks and they wish this Dalek to be removed to disguise their plans. Perhaps they are in league with the monochrome bureaucrats of Interminer, Chairman Pletrak and the Admissions Tribunal. Yes. Whatever's happening, it's true to say, it's all kicking off. Guess who? It was John Culture from BBC's Dead Ring as the brilliant impressionist with his most brilliant impression answer. Yes, I As January came to a close, media interest in the now newly named Alan Dalek reached fever pitch. I was most surprised to receive an invitation to even talk to Paul Ross on his late night chat show. And now a story about enthusiasm, about dedication, about focus, about a couple working together and about science fiction. So lots of my favourite topics and subjects all wrapped up into one. We are talking the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi. It's in Allendale Town. It's in Northumberland. Osborn House, I think, is the proper address. And one man's behind it with his, uh, with his wife, Lisa, and he joins us now. It's Mr Neil Cole. Good morning, Neil. Say hello. hello. What can we see out the window? A starlet. <laughs> Doctor Who fans are coming together to support a Northumberland Dalek which faces extermination. The iconic figure is housed in a shed outside Neil Cole's Adventures in Sci-Fi Museum in Allendale, but the council says it must be moved because it doesn't have planning permission. Locals are making their own Daleks and putting them around the village in protest. Kate Moan's one of them. We've built a Dalek out of a bin and then on the hay bales we've sprayed Save Our Shed and its Dalek. <laughs> if you go out of Allendale, then it's on the left as you go out. Well, it's all due to planning permission issues with the shed the Dalek lives in. Northumberland Council says it's working with the property owner to resolve the issues in the next few weeks. That's the BBC as Newcastle the weeks News. passed, Northumberland Lee. County Council were repeatedly asked for a statement. This was their standard and only reply. We wish to work with the property owner to resolve this, and we have written to him to advise that this would require planning permission and due to the listed status of the property, an application is unlikely to be supported. Also at this time, we received a request to remove the initial enforcement letter from Facebook and any other social media. The NCC representative stated that they were seeking legal advice over this issue. This did cause us considerable stress as we simply did not have the financial resources to take on a legal challenge. Thankfully, one of the UK's leading planning barristers had contacted me, having heard about the story, just to offer some support and assured us we had done nothing wrong. Social media and the press had given us a voice. Without it, the plight of our museum would have gone unnoticed. We were experiencing a sort of social democracy via social media. But the best was still to come. In late February, we finally received notification that Northumberland County Council would like to meet with us to discuss the fate of the Dalek and the Shed. 
with the vast majority of the community in utter disbelief over the Dalek and the complaint from the council, the village goes into overdrive building, cooking, drawing and making Daleks. In another mildly anarchistic protest, the villagers even managed to get the Alan Dalek into the local pantomime. In a quiet rural village, there is something of an intergalactic battle going on. Daleks, out in force in a sci-fi inspired show of solidarity. And it's all to support this, the Allendale Museum of Sci-Fi, run by local teacher, Neil Cole. When we got the original complaint letter, I thought this could be curtains for the museum. We've had Daleks being built, petitions being made, not by us, and beyond as well. The issue centers around this, shed. Now it's currently housing this Dalek which was made by Neil's students but because the shed is wood there is an argument that it's not in keeping with the appearance of this grade 2 stone building. Now the worst case scenario is that this could be forced to be pulled down. Not only would that make this Dalek homeless but it would put into doubt the future of the museum. Tourists walk past, they have selfies, it's the selfie power really and it's gone worldwide so to take that away is losing a massive draw and PR for this village, a lovely little village we're in. So, as our face-to-face -face meeting with the county council approached, we were riding high on a wave of tremendous support, both locally and from further afield. We need all the help we can get because we are a rural, remote village. So people coming to stay because they're visiting his museum, people coming to eat in the pub or drink in the, you know, drink in the cafe or things like that. It's, it's every little bit helps. They're coming from all over, the, all over the world, in fact. We know people come from Australia. You've got the court there, you've got the three pubs, you've got the tea rooms, you've got the, the Allendale Forge. They're going on to those. They're not driving all the way to Allendale and then just going to the museum. They're spending money in the village. Local residents had also collected a petition and emailed the county council. Surely they would have to listen to all this tremendous support and enthusiasm for the museum and the Dalek. 